It is Wednesday, March 27th, and I am here in Okinawa. Um, I'm really happy to be here. The weather's really nice. It's a nice break from um, just the cold weather back in my place. Um, but the place where we are now is not exactly uh, a vacation place. Um, it is the former Navy underground headquarters where Okinawa was finally lost to American forces during World War II. I'm not a history buff, so if I say something that's wrong, it's probably wrong. Um, but we're gonna go down and check it out. So this uh, um, series of tunnels and rooms served as the Navy's headquarters during um, the Typhoon of Steel when U.S. forces invaded Okinawa. And in some place down here, um, a lot of Navy, uh, Japanese Navy, um, committed suicide once they realized that victory was not possible. You can see scratches in the ceiling from where the tunnels were dug out using uh, kind of spears or picks that civilian, I think it was civilian to use to dig out the tunnels, but I'm not 100% sure. So I just came out of the Navy underground headquarters over there. Um, it was, it's really worth seeing. Um, it's not, of course you can't describe it as fun, um, but it's really, I don't know, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, they had some pictures of uh, American soldiers, uh, you know, during the invasion, and it was just crazy. Um, looking at the pictures, you know, of all these these young guys in uniform, and realizing that you know my grandfather was one of those guys, um, and just a really, I don't know, really what to say about it. Um, yeah, that's my introduction to Okinawa. So uh, we'll be seeing some other stuff this weekend: beaches, castles. So um, yeah, it should be a good time. All right, so here's Naha. Uh, the airport is right over that way. That's where we flew in. Just looks like any other big city. So on Kokusai Dori, uh, which is like the main drag in Naha, it's famous shopping, whatever. And uh, before I left, one of my Japanese teachers gave me a map. He was like, "You've got to go to this restaurant. You know, like the sushi is delicious or whatever." So I'm walking along, and I see this taco restaurant. And I'm like, "Tacos? Yeah, sushi ain't happening." Um, there's no Mexican restaurant in my town, um, so I'm really excited for. Tacos. Here we have taco rice, which is famous in, uh, I don't know if it's just Naha or Okinawa, but yeah, taco rice, here we go. Alright, so we are on the Okinawa monorail. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's one line, it's very simple. Um, two cars, you know, you really can't mess it up. 
And so, if you're traveling around Okinawa, it's really convenient if you don't have a car. That being said, um, the three we visited three places today, and one place yesterday, and none of the places had. Well, no, Shuri had a monorail stop, but we didn't come from. The point is that it's getting around Okinawa is, can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but if you're in the monorail area, it's really convenient.